Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? My name's Marty, and welcome back to another episode of Thumbcraft 6. And I've got this thing up there. It's kind of like a sail system going. Seems to be working pretty well. 497 ticks, and that is 24 seconds. And we'll, we'll get our 1V off of that. How much uh, Essentia? 13 Essentia it'll take. So basically, I'm just letting this thing go. And downstairs, I've been doing a whole lot of stuff. But first, before we go down there, I want to tell you guys, uh, Sania, one of the uh, one of the viewers in episode six, gave me a tip on this stuff. So I have devised a Sentia smelting and sorting 2.0, and this one, guys, is awesome. So the tip that I had was, you know, before in the old system, I only had one jar. And it was just a void jar, and it would just get filled up, and then it would be done, basically, you know. Um, so I'd have to pull it off, switch it off. It, it was a whole lot of running around for me to do. And the tip was to do this. To have a jar here and a jar here. This one is a regular jar, and this one is a void jar. So this will go down, and since this has a label, what we get now oops, is 30 air. But let's look at one that's not full. That one's 63 suction. So this has a 64 suction just by putting a label on it. Okay, so this one only has 31 suction. So if we go like that, we get this filled up with this. When this fills up, now it has nowhere else to go, so it's just going to go into that, and then it'll end up overflowing, you know, and then it'll void all the stuff. However, I took it one step further, slapped this guy right here. It is not labeled. However, it has 31 suction, so it'll come down here hit that 31 suction and want to come down to this instead of trying to you know follow down the path and get into this one so when this one fills like that uh it'll all go into here what do i have going in there right now can we tell nothing it looks empty all right so nothing's going in there so once the both of these get filled up then that one will go in here notice this one's not labeled so i can take the stuff off of that and right now i'm just kind of filling up some stuff right here doing some easy ones um, we're going to put that in there, and that one's just about full, too. So, yeah, it's uh, it's really nice. Then that way, as these fill up, and if I need something, I'm just going to snatch from here. And this one, currently, I am cooking up a whole bunch of uh, uh, crafting benches, but it's because they have uh, the Fabrico. Then I break the fab or, yeah, Fabrico down into Instrumentum and Permutatio. Permutatio? I think that's what it is. And then uh, and then from this, I could break this down further and get Ordo, because it's a really good source of Ordo. And as you can see, I only have 105, and that's empty, and that's empty. So I'm just kind of working my way around here. But I'll run this through. I've got a little bit different setup now that we've got this going. We've got the one smelter pumps into this. It goes up, follows this. It goes here. It will not go that way, because that's a directional Essentia tube. It then goes into the buffer, which I've got a bellows on top. And then what I've done here is switch these all to the red so it negates the suction and doesn't want to suck anything back. It just pushes it along the way. Um, so it does that. It comes all the way down here and then hits regular tubes and then comes up through here. And then we've got another set of buffers. And there's another bellows on top of that just to make sure that you know it sucks from this all the way over here because without it, it would only have one suction. So then it goes all the way down here. And for whatever reason, I had to put these blue because the first one on the bellows won't work. So you have to either suction the one prior or suction, or when you suction this one, change these ones to blue. And you can see that I've got this over here as well. I've got the blue right there. Uh, so basically now what happens is it travels down this way. And if for some reason I screw something up, and it misses like when I was first building this I had uh, something going on with the air and it went down and I had like air 10 air 10 air 10 air 10 air and I was like ah well if that ever happens again we're just gonna get a tube over here with a directional tube that way it means it can only go from left to right that way and then it'll go back through here and go back through the system and hopefully find a home so I haven't noticed anything crazy with that just yet but it seems to be working really well uh, we're going to take that and put that back up there because now that one is full. And let me see, do I have another empty jar? Yes. All right, another warded jar. We can put that one right in there. And then also I'm going to grab that. Uh-oh. 
that's the only bad thing. Every once in a while I gotta use my axe of the stream to pick up some stuff. So these things should be just about empty. Let's slap that in there. Um, but yeah, I mean, to get some to get some serious amount of Essentia. Boom. 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 And we've got 32 that we can put in there. However, it does create a lot of taint or a lot of uh, flux. So you got to make sure you have these going. And I was thinking about getting another couple of ones out here, but I don't think I can produce... Uh, uh, Essentia fast enough to keep a couple more going and also I don't think I'll, I'll be able to get enough going with uh... All right now I can break that Oop, Broke the whole thing um, I don't think I can make enough to, to keep these things going and plus I need to like gather a ton of material in the nether Which I just haven't done so these should be popping off soon, right? Yep, okay, so that one so I did find that doing it this way seemed to be really good uh, I did a whole bunch of different configurations and then check them that's 493 24 ticks right so if we take that and let's say we break that and then put this one here instead and how many ticks did I say 493 so with these down here now it's 506 so it's the same amount just not as good so I'm thinking maybe I get a, oh, maybe I get up he here get one right there and get one right there and let's see what we're at there 503 so it's still 503 okay so that was weird so let's grab that we got that one and then let's just put this here and we should be back to the 493 right 493 yeah so it's weird it's weird how that thing works I don't quite understand um, but yeah you can do it like that it works out well Another thing I did down here, as you can see, there's the glass down there, and it leads down to this. And I didn't put any levers to turn this thing off because this was a new update. This changes. It looks a little different. And now you can put five of these things on, these five of these V generators, onto a stabilizer. And the stabilizer can only take a certain amount of RF per tick, which is 100, I believe. And these each make 20. So 20, 40, 60, 80. 100. I leave them on because if we turn them off, it doesn't really matter. Because as soon as we get this thing stabilized and start doing something, then they'll start working and start drawing that V from the aura or the area. So if we if we do this and just watch this, you know, over time it may go up. So I've got 87. Oh, it just went up to 88. So we've got that. And then down here, I've made a whole bunch of these V batteries. So the V batteries are pretty sweet. V I S B A T, uh, really easy to make arcane stone slabs and a V resonator. So let's look. I don't know if we really talked about these things, but let's look in the Thalmanomicon and we'll take a look at the entry. So that is going to be under arcane infusion, I believe, right? Uh, arcane paving stones is the no, that's not going to be under there. That's going to be in fundamentals. No, where where you at? Where you at? Uh, nope, not there. Nope, nope. How about we do the search battery? battery the v battery there's that one. Oh, what was that oh that was the recipe i see all right so that's the recipe that's the actual entry um so what it does you put it down it absorb a whole bunch of the local aura if the local aura is above 95 percent of its normal capacity the battery will absorb v and if the aura drops below 75 it'll discharge so it can only store 10 points of v my attempts to increase this have proven disastrous. I guess this just means that I'll need to use them in larger numbers. Applying a red not only prevent it from, but will rapidly discharge any V. Okay. So basically, that's it. So I've got like 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, what do we got here? 5 times 5. So I've got 25 of these things. So that's 250 extra V that's in this chunk available for me to use. So it's really nice. However, with the amount of taint that I have or the amount of flux that I have in this area, it's not really going to be great for me to do anything. And uh, one of the great things about this is this arcane infusion, I believe, is close enough to pull from everywhere. So it's, uh, it's really handy, really handy to use. And uh, it, is, it is awesome. I like the new style. So, yeah, that is Essentia Smelting 2.0. 
think it works great. You can see that we've got some stuff there, some smoke blowing, and that just means because one of these has something not in it. Uh, so if I was to grab this glass vial, and if I took from this and put into here, you'll see this is going to disappear. It's gone. Just gone. It is gone forever. So I do kind of like <laughs> I kind of like seeing that. I think it looks crazy. I love it. Um, just seeing like little smoke plumes going everywhere. It doesn't really mean anything. You're not exactly leaking it into the area or the 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 you know the 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 chunk. So it looks pretty good. But anyway, let's get this one there. Let's take that one. Let's get that one back here. Let's start building some more stuff. We'll let that go and empty, and then uh, once that's done, I'll suck down a lot more stuff. Uh, but anyway, so we've got one more thing that we wanted to look into last episode, and I never got to it, and we're not going to get to it today, is closing flux rifts. All right, we're not going to do this today. We will do this in the next episode, but it has a very high instability. It's got a bunch of stuff in here that we got to make, and then we've pretty much got to make a flux rift. So I'll do that after this episode, and then we'll get into the next episode, and we'll we'll do what the closing stuff is. So it's going to be kind of cool, I think. Should be fun to do. The the rift that was up here closed. That rift closed. I think that one closed last episode, and then we had a new one form up here. I actually had another one form over here that closed on its own uh, after the taint showed came, and uh, yeah, it was no good. But I just spent a lot of time building this thing, so I hope you guys do like it. Um, any questions feel free to leave them in the comments and also I don't think this actually is necessary I just like having the colors and I like seeing some more stuff and plus I had a whole bunch of these so I figured why not use them but I do want to talk to you guys too um, it's been a while since the last episode and the episode before that came out uh, it was like two weeks and I didn't have anything I didn't have any videos go up so I want to apologize for that and I'll go ahead and let you guys know what's been really going on lately and why haven't I been doing that? I don't want you guys thinking I'm going to disappear again because I don't want to. Uh, however, what I did is uh, I have started a new company. And those of you may know I'm a contractor. Uh, I work for a general contractor. So I do a lot of stuff and bid jobs and just a lot of miscellaneous stuff. So it's like as far as like building things, like just all kinds of different stuff. So I decided now is my time to go out on my own and do it for myself. So I've been super op occupied and crazy busy because now I'm actually also going to, I am taking courses as we speak uh, in um, a builder's license. So once I finish the builder's license, then I have a test to take and all kinds of crazy stuff and fun things are going to be happening. And hopefully I get some great employees and, you know, they make me millions, millions. <laughs> no, but... Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited to do that. So it's been taking a ton of my time between setting up the business, getting insurance, getting workman's comp, getting my courses done, you know, just scheduling and trying to network a little bit more. So um, I do want to apologize that I haven't really been able to get as many videos out as I would really like to. But hopefully once things cool down a little bit, I'll get back to a normal schedule of just going to work, coming home. Actually, now I'll have to go to work. I'll do invoicing. I'll probably sleep a couple hours a night <laughs> and uh, not have time for a whole lot. But I will definitely try to make time as much time as if I have like some spare time. I will definitely be doing videos like right now. I was like, you know what? I've been studying my ass off. I did like 20 hours worth of uh, worth of builder um builder license video in like a week so i'm hoping to get that done really soon and then i can put turn you know apply for the test do a little more studying and we'll be good to go but anyway that's gonna wrap up this episode it's a little bit short i just wanted to show you guys uh alchemy station number two version two of the Asuncia smelter so i hope you guys enjoyed my name is marty signing out peace out